One of the most important things a speaker must be able to do is to immediately connect with that audience. Once the audience is engaged, they think to themselves, all right, this guy's good, this is gonna be fun. They sit up, they're ready to listen and learn. 31, 41, 44, 8, 52. Hey, 31, 32, 52, 12, 7, 9, 2, 52, 34, 43, 6, 9, 52, 33, 43, 5, 4, 52. Yeah! <laughs> okay, from the four corners of this unbelievable world class global Delta Airlines, 32 plus 7 is what? Plus 9 is what? Plus 4 is what? 52. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, what the hell was that all about, huh? What's this guy do? <laughs> hey, who's got that piece of paper? Do me a favor, throw it to anybody you want. What an arm. Grab it. Somebody pick it up quickly. Pick it up. Pick it up. Stand up. Stand up. I want you to think of any number between one and a thousand, any number at all. Think of one. Do you have one? Shout loudly. What is it? 596. Do you want to change your mind? Okay. Do me a favor. Open up that piece of paper and shout loudly what I have written on it. Say that again? Nothing. Nothing, I know, but that would have been cool as hell, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm good, but I'm not that good. At the end of the day, the folks in that audience want real takeaways. They need something to bring home and put to work in their own businesses. So in a nutshell, what do I bring to the stage or to the room? Well, real business experience and expertise. I owned and operated a national advertising and branding agency for over 20 years. I've sat on several boards. I was part of four startups, two of which went public. So I have that expertise. I have that experience. I know what it takes to be an effective leader, how to inspire and passion and empower employees to create that passionate and collaborative culture. I know what it takes to be innovative, to be disruptive. I know how to create that one-of-a-kind emotional customer experience. And I know how to be profitable and sustainable. But most important, I have the ability to take all of that experience and transfer it to the folks I am speaking for. If you have anywhere, anywhere in your corporate mantra that your mission is 100% customer satisfaction, get rid of it. Get rid of it. If you think satisfying a customer is where you need to be, get rid of it. If it permeates through your company, you're not gonna make it, and I'll tell you why. There is absolutely no correlation between a satisfied customer and a loyal customer, none. Here's the definition of a satisfied customer. You know what it is? They'll stay with you till the next best deal comes along. That's it. You know what a satisfied employee will do? They'll stay with you until the next best offer comes along. You want to get them from satisfied to loyal. How do you do it? You shatter their expectation. But here's the question. How in the world do you shatter my expectation, let alone even meet it, if you don't know what it is? Here's a conversation nobody ever has with customers. Tell me something, sir, ma'am. What is your expectation of us? What do you mean? What are you expecting out of being a customer of ours, this relationship? Wow, nobody's ever asked me that before. Well, tell us. And then after you get some of this feedback, Put it together and have a staff meeting and say, this is generally what people are expecting. Let's put a process together that blows those expectations away. Now what you're doing is you're taking people from satisfied crossing that abyss over to loyal. Look at that, huh? What is that? Somebody, shout it out. It's a yard sign. It's a slogan. What's that? The billboard. It's a slogan. Guess what? You know what that is? That's a promise.